Okay, so welcome to this video on the 2012 Section A Higher Level Question A14, so on auxiliary elevations. So this is the question here in the left. I'm going to just quickly run through what I done in the solution. That's an example of the solution. And then I'm going to explain how it worked in 3D. All right, so the question here says, the figure shows the elevation plan of an X axe head. The 3D graphic is also shown, so the 3D graphic helps. Project an auxiliary elevation of the axe head on the X1 and Y1 line to show the true shape of surface S. So here's surface S here, the true shape of that. So here's surface S in plan. So what we do is we project perpendicular to the surface S from plan view. Okay, past our x1 and y1 line, and we're going to take our distances from our x1 and y1 line to here. Now I'm going to do it first, and then explain explain how it works, because I know just following is very hard for students, and most of them won't know how it's at, what they're doing. They're just following it, so we're going to have to address that afterwards. So. I'm projecting from plan, and the reason why I'm projecting from plan is because surface S appears as an edge in plan. So that's the reason why we're projecting from plan. And the projection lines have to make a right angle to the X1 and Y1 line. So just to explain them again, I line my set square up with the X1 and Y1 line. I can put a second set square or T square underneath the set square. And I'm going to slide my set square along to my points in plan and project perpendicular to those points in plan. So I'm projecting perpendicular to the points in plan. Now the reason the projection lines uh, um, have to make a right uh, angle with the X1 and Y1 line is because if they weren't, you wouldn't be looking at 90 degrees to surface S. Now we're going to project then the limits of the circle as well, the vertices of the circle. Okay, the hole for the axe angle. Okay, now in auxiliary elevation, the heights between the auxiliary and the elevation remain the same. So if you look here, the height between the elevation, okay, and the auxiliary elevation are the same. Some students think you can just bring it across, you can't. Okay, so I'm gonna take my height of the tip of the axe head, okay, where the cutting edge is, in elevation lift, find it in plan, arc it along, then I'm gonna take the total height lift find it in plan all right so it's lying down here in plan i'm going to mark it along now i can draw a line parallel to the x1 y1 line so i'm going to draw a line parallel to the x1 y1 line this is going to be the top of the axe head and here's the top of the cutting edge and now we're going to figure out what's heavy and hidden detail so the purple, uh, purple surface here, okay, is there in plan, uh, plan. So all on that purple surface is going to be uh, heavy detail because this is where you're, we're looking this way, that way, so we can see all that. Right, so here we're going from this corner here, which is a point view of a line in elevation. It's the point view of that line. This corner here is a point view of that line, so we can heavy that in. Now, so there's the purple surface there. Right, let's go for surface S here. So, surface S is blue, okay. Here we go. So I can, the height of the line here is there. So that line is a point in plan, and here it is here. So I can heavy it in. It joins to there, which is there. OK, 
scale. So there's the blue surface done, and then there's more points to connect. All right. Okay. This line, okay, is represented here in elevation. So we have to go upwards. Mark it there, and they join together. So that's the slope surface there. They join together, and we're going to heavy these uh, together here. So that's the axe viewed perpendicular to surface S, and you see the true shape of surface S. But we need to add in heavy and hidden detail. So this point view here in plan represents the line at the back there in elevation, that one at the back. So it's blocked by the purple surface, the purple surface is in the way, so that's hidden detail Okay, in our auxiliary elevation. Then our circular hole is hidden detail because it's in the object, in the axe head. And this is hidden detail as well. Now this line, most of her is blocked by the blue surface and the sloped edge of the axe. So when I look in that way, I cannot see that line at the back. So that's going to be hidden detail. Now, that's the question complete. I'm going to show you how did that work in three dimensions. Okay, so here's our model. We were given an elevation and plan. So there's our elevation projected onto the vertical plane. And our plan view, okay, is projected onto the horizontal plane. Okay, we were asked to find the true shape of surface S. We were asked to find the true shape of this surface here. So if we want to find the true shape of that surface, we have to look perpendicular to it. So here's a, a, a plane, okay, parallel to the surface S, and that is the bottom of that plane, is the X1, Y1 line in our auxiliary. So that is our X1, Y1 line. Now the auxiliary elevation is looking perpendicular to surface S. So when I click that face and say look perpendicular to it, here is the auxiliary there. That's the auxiliary right there drawn out. And that was when we looked at a right angle to this face there that's gone light blue. The projection lines, okay, that you've seen in your drawing, these projection lines are your sight lines. So they represent the points being pushed onto the auxiliary vertical plane or your auxiliary elevation. And this line here and this one proves that the heights remain the same. And then in our auxiliary, we see the true shape of surface S. Now, students might be wondering, what is a true shape? Right, the true shape is what you see looking perpendicular to a surface. If you don't look perpendicular to a surface, it appears smaller than it actually is. And I'm going to prove that to you, right? going to just prove it with the width of something uh, 3d sketch line okay so along here the blue surface I'm going to draw a line across here and it's 32 in length now oh sorry I just fixed that I'm going to redo it there I want to have it I'm going to draw it on the blue surface Click the line, click that point there, a coincident, and I'm going to click the bottom there, hold control, make that parallel, and now we're just going to find out a distance for that line. Now, 29.5, so that's the length of the surface. But if I go over here now and draw a line 
on the elevation okay and so I'm going to put the line on the elevation and we're going to measure the length here C 25 so look how when the surface sloped away from me when I wasn't looking at a perpendicular to the blue surface it appeared shorter than it actually is so that line appeared 25 in elevation when actually it was 29 so the true shape is what you see when you look perpendicular to the surface right cheers thank you bye bye